One year after Harvey, many people still picking up the pieces after the storm flooded their homes, changing their lives forever. Today, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner took time to visit Harvey victims across Houston, getting a firsthand look at their progress and offering words of encouragement. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon was there. Myerland was one of the area's hardest hit by Harvey, with many residents here having to start over. Well, today the mayor paid a visit to survivors here and throughout greater Houston to let them know they're not alone. And we're still all in this together. We're Houston strong. And I've just been amazed today by the spirits of, of Houstonians. Mayor Sylvester Turner visiting survivors one year since Hurricane Harvey touched land, forever changing the lives of people like Larry and Diane First. We got it all viral. Still rebuilding one year later, like many, theirs is a story of incredible strength. The carpet was totally soaked. It finally went down. We had no electricity, no air conditioning. Today, Take a look at this kitchen. It's shocking. It's the skeleton of what will soon be their dreams come true. We've got our fabulous interior designer, and we've got all the new colors and fabrics and flooring. And her neighbor's new home is flood ready. Dryable porcelain tile and walls with magnets. If it floods again, we're going to go around and pull all this wood off, and we're going to move it up high. But there are many many people who are either just getting back into their homes or waiting to get into their homes, still waiting on resources. The objective is to let people know that um, we are here. In Kashmir Gardens, probably 50% are back in their homes in some capacity, but they're not by any means uh, re recovered. There is help coming, okay, but for housing, for housing repair, for housing reconstruction, to assist in reimbursing people. Federal funding, which the mayor says is expected to come in November. For Kathy Gabriel, whose home still needs the bulk of repairs, the mayor's visit was uplifting. It takes a big weight off my shoulder, and it shows me that there is hope because it's been a long struggle. These families say the $2.5 billion flood bond is needed. The objective and the goal is to mitigate significantly the risk of future flooding. I support it and I look forward to watching them use the money to help resolve some of the flooding issues we're facing in this community. Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. As we mark the one year.